I spend most of my time on Stanford's campus, either in a dissection lab or an art studio. Art anatomy just becomes so much like part of my life. It's so natural for me. I think about them as one. You always think about art and science as being so different, but how beautiful is it to think about the human body as an art piece? My name is Lauren Toomer. I am from California. I'm a grad alum and artist and lecturer here at Stanford University. I was extremely excited that while I was in my grad school program at Stanford that I had the amazing opportunity to work inside of our cadaver lab and to really see the human body up close. It was a life-changing experience that I wanted others to be able to have as well, like to hold a heart in your hand. It was extremely eye-opening and life-changing for me. So from that experience, I developed art courses that allowed you to study anatomy. Usually students come in and they're like, I love art, but I don't know, can I learn anatomy? Or I love anatomy, but can I do art? And I'm like, yes, you can do both. I'm living proof that you can do both, that there's no type of person that has to enter into this realm. This campus was built really because of a sense of loss with Leland Stanford Jr. And look at the beauty that's come from it. Definitely through the pandemic, we've learned that in many ways we've been apart, but also in many ways it's brought us together. What I came in to do with my installation Apart Together was to contribute to honoring people who have passed of paying respect to our community. I would ask people we were inviting to participate in this project to paint a wooden slice any way they want to express themselves. Those wooden slices were scavenged from Stanford's campus. The response, like I never would have dreamt. More than 2,000 people have contributed to this art piece. And when I look at the, the petals, that's a person. That's someone who took the time to paint that, to express themselves. Many people who had never even painted, and they're literally creating these mini little masterpieces. I was like inspired and amazed. That's why I do art. That's why I teach. Like, how do you make someone else feel special? Like, how do you make someone else feel seen and heard? How can art be used to have others maybe just have a moment of levity or a moment of being present or a moment of just, you know, thinking about what color do I want to use versus the kind of traumas that we may have experienced during that time. So it's continued. We thought that it would end at the dedication in October of 2021, but we're in 2022 and it's still going strong and the fact that people still want to make art it's beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs>